Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Doing your love reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, just leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box. You go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, Virgo, I'm using a new deck. And wow, I don't remember what the name of this deck is. But when I figure it out, I'll, I'll put the link in the description box of the name of the deck in the description box below for you. But we're going to do the Celtic Cross. Try to see what the energy is playing out here. Wow. Wow, Virgo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks lovely, Virgo. Sheesh. Um, okay, wait. Let me get the love messages here. I cannot believe how beautiful this, this reading looks right now. Because <laughs> I know sometimes it can be really intense or something's going on. and But this, I don't know. Let's see. Love messages here for Virgo. Okay. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. They gave us three cards. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So Virgo, you're this somebody that you're look, see, I I cut my finger. I get a blister because I was <laughs> I was out mowing the lawn <laughs> and I hurt my finger. So don't mind my ugly tape here. Um so the person that you're connecting with This person I see is going to make a very strong decision about you and um, to work on this partnership. A lot of forgiveness and a lot of learning. Um, I feel like the person that you are connecting with um, is going through some kind of a process of releasing and healing some past things forgiving themselves, maybe forgiving you, or forgiving um, people from their past, learning from the past, and really coming forward here in a certain amount of time, probably by the end of this month, to um, make a decision about you guys, about this connection, which is very nice. So the past energy, Five of Pentacles, Now this says on this card, material trouble. Okay. This can be with a Taurus. There could be Taurus. Could have been dealing with a Taurus. Um, let me just tell you the signs real quick. So we've got Scorpio. You have Aries. Gemini. Pisces. Aquarius. But I feel here in the past, there was that Five of Pentacles energy. This was a sense of worry, isolation, maybe financial loss, ill health, poverty, or it could be a poverty mindset. This represents a struggle in your, in your relationship with your person in the past both of you or someone this can represent codependency leaning very heavily on someone else it's for some they just gave me the blind leading the blind i don't really know what that means that might have been like two of you, you and your person trying to figure out how to navigate some struggles or problems in the past one leaning more heavily on the other and the other not really knowing what direction they were going okay um, one person was less in faith than the other. That's how I feel. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is one, the one leading had <laughs> the one leading, for example, had $10 in their pocket and the one following only had a dollar, but both of you struggling. Okay. 
Um, Virgo, you may have been the one that knew the way out of some kind of a maze or through some kind of problem. And the other person was following. The other person was worse off than you. But either way, I definitely feel in the past there was a lot of uncertainty, maybe inconsistency, a lot of changes, seeking freedom. Somebody may have been seeking freedom. Okay, the chariot. Trying to find a way to act, actuate. Wait, what's they just gave me this word? At, hold on. Actualize change with the chariot. Cancer energy. A journey. Trying to have progress. Trying to get out of some kind of a struggle in the past. Currently, you're, the person that you're connecting with, this person has visions of grandeur. You might have ghosted this person and they're kind of in fantasy land like in a lot of ways in their mind um, is this is a scorpionic card um, not really sure what to do okay and having a real hard time in the present struggling to keep the faith or struggling to have faith in this connection at this time um, this person usually the energy of the seven of cups can come across as someone that's got a lot of options or it just has commitment issues okay the struggle for some, it could be a struggle to, you know, the, the star can represent a public figure. It could be a struggle to maintain status and also maintaining hope and worry if there's going to be a renewal or, um, you know, coming back together, that kind of thing. This person is like the real challenge is to have hope, hoping for a miracle, um, having faith that something here can work out. And this is the present, okay, the Eight of Cups. There is some type of temporary separation and I feel like this person, if you, if you left the relationship or they left you, somebody here is in this position of having a hard time believing that something is over And it kind of feels like, um, yeah, they, they, they're having a hard time believing that something's over. This I feel an energy. Somebody here is really confused and is not sure what's happening right now or what's happening in this connection. Is this person gone for good or is it just a temporary thing, you know, um, or it's should we stay together? Or should we not stay together? There's a lot of confusion. Because something happened. The tower is driving this reading. A tower moment occurred. And in this, in somebody's mind, there's this moon energy. It, and it's kind of like, what is going on here? Uns did I miss something? Unseen problems? There's like changes that are happening here. It's like there was something like a fallout with this tower. All right, so it feels like this struggle, there's doubt. I feel there's doubt in the present. Let's take a look at this tower energy. What can you tell us about the tower? I feel like something happened and it's, it's kind of like unwanted change. I don't know that this... I don't know if the, a relationship fell apart and there was like somebody desired to leave it and now the, another person is like they don't know what to do they, they're losing hope or not losing hope but having a, a struggle it's an obstacle to have faith about this connection anymore because somebody doesn't know if it's forever if it's gone if it's done or if it can be salvaged let's see this tower 
Yeah, seven of pentacles. Somebody's sitting here in the position of like, what to do, what to do is, can we, you know, now that this whole thing happened or something ended, uh, how it, can it be built back up again? Can we take all those pieces and those blocks and bricks that fell and rebuild? There's a hesitation here since this tower moment has come about, okay? And the reason is because this person or you, somebody here, does not have clarity. There's very little light being shed on some type of fallout or something that happened. Let's get a clarifying card for the moon. <laughs> the tower. So, yeah. Something came crashing down. Something happened. This came out of the blue. This was sudden for someone and it's like now what now what okay if this is your person it kind of feels like this tower moment had to happen and it's kind of like a lightning strike in the middle of the night when everyone is sleeping on the how on the home and and it just boom comes out of nowhere and no one's prepared and it's like now the moon is shining through the rooftop and the rooftop's destroyed and it's like dark and there's no electricity and can't see where we're going and don't know what the path is and like feeling our way through this with the moon now this could have been your person as well so it really just depends on your story but what I see coming up here in the near future is the Four of Pentacles. And this is an energy of like not wanting to let go. Not wanting to let go. And I feel, you know, for some of you, this is, this is both of you, like still holding on to whatever's left. To, you know... There's an element here of long-term security. And it feels to me, and please give me a moment because intuiting these cards is different than the other cards that I was doing. This is Capricorn energy. It feels to me like things come back into The foundation gets stronger. It feels to me that even though the building has collapsed, the foundation is still there. I don't know really what that means for some of you. The foundation is still solid. But whatever was built upon the foundation, it's the building that fell apart. But the the foundation is still solid. And it feels to me like that's what's left of this connection. And your person, it feels like they still believe that we can rebuild. That's what I feel like. The, the foundation has not been destroyed. It just, just, the, just the, the house that two people were residing in, okay? Whether that's figuratively or literally. So let me take a look here. I feel like your person, oh, okay, three of swords. There might've been a heartbreak, but now there's healing. I feel like your person wants to heal this connection. Give this relationship a chance and really put in the effort to work on this partnership, to rebuild this. Now this house falling down really, <coughs> excuse me, could have a lot to do with um, problems and struggles, like I was saying, either financially or emotionally, um, physically, whatever it might be. Um, the things that were being put into the, into the relationship were not strong enough to withstand an earthquake or a catastrophe or something that might have happened, right? So it's kind of like 
building a, a home. So, okay, that, that, they're just giving me this image of a mobile home in an area where there's earthquakes. <laughs> the, the foundation did not have a crack through it, but it did shake. But the, 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 the mobile home was not strong enough to withstand that and the mobile home broke, right? But the foundation is still okay. And that's what I feel like your person believes that you guys have a very good foundation to rebuild. That's how I feel. Now your advice, Virgo, you have the emperor. So this could be somebody that you're connected with. It could be an Aries. Your advice here is two things. If you're connected with an Aries, your advice is to keep this person at the forefront of your life. I'm not sure why. For some of you, this could be a father, and you may need to seek father or mentorship. Someone whose respect has a self-respect is uh, a leader. Someone's dependable, but this could also be an energy of you is to stabilize yourself. All right. Um, if you're male, especially to take on that emperor energy, to not be, to not fall apart just because things around you may feel like they're falling apart for you to stay strong. Let's get a clarifier for this emperor. Okay. Justice. Fair. A win-win situation. It feels to me like you're being asked to focus on the healing aspect, not just of yourself, but of the relationship. Because I do feel like some of you want to give this relationship a chance, have that forgiving and learning, and really make a decision to try to rebuild again. And others of you, I I get it. You know, you you don't want to deal with the past. Um, and if you have nobody in your life right now. Um, I don't really feel like this reading is for you. Um, this really feels like it's for people who really had something strong and things just fell apart and they weren't like almost as if it was meant to happen because it came down from out of nowhere. And your advice here is to um, seek the truth and be open. And whatever truth does come out for you, don't let it, because the emperor is rock solid, okay? Whatever truth comes out about, about an emperor or about anything or anyone that you're dealing with, try to see it. In a, from a very balanced perspective. So if there was stuff going on between you and your person, it's not just about placing blame on the other person. It's also about you taking accountability for your actions and forgiving and learning um, from those and forgiving yourself and other people, right? Because I do feel like there's some of you here that really don't want to be out of a connection with someone, but some of you had to, or you were forced to. Now, your person, they have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this person is coming towards you slow and steady with some kind of an offer here, like a solid offer. Okay, you have the King of Cups. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, Virgo, uh, Leo. And some of you might be on the cusp, Virgo Leo, Leo Virgo, okay? Um, but there's a solid offer coming in here from this person. Huh, two people. You got a King of Wands and the King of Cups. Now, for some of you, this could be the past and somebody new or someone present. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For others, this could be... Um, so water and fire could be a Scorpio because it's Mars and Pluto. Um, but for others, this just could be the energy of that this person is taking on um, as someone who's very deeply emotional, but extremely passionate. Okay, so your person could be any sign, but taking on the elements of water and fire at this time. Um, 
Okay, nine of wands here, persistent. They're coming in and will be very persistent with their offer. Coming in slow and steady, but it kind of feels like persistent, not giving up. It's not fast energy, but it's like just going to keep chipping away and try to make try to try to make this offer, try to bring this in for Virgo. And and come in with the Knight of Pentacles energy where the pentacle represents like a physical offer. It could be for some of you <coughs> something tangible as proof. Could be a promise ring, could be engagement, it could be an offer for marriage. It's it's something tangible. And for you and both of you, the hopes is the lovers here, Gemini energy. The hope is to have this, both of you to, to choose each other and to have this, um, you know, partnership, this love, this deep loving partnership. And it can be like sacrificing for one another, um, loyalty you know, coming into harmony with each other because it's a six. But there's a fear that this won't happen, you know, but, you know, you can choose, you know, love and fear cannot coexist. We're either operating out of love or we're operating out of fear. The outcome of the reading is beautiful. The Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups. There's a, oh, that must be a sign. There's a, there's a coming together. I feel like there's going to be travel. I feel like there's going to be a connection. Um, this Two of Wands here, I feel like somebody's, um, there's going to be a lot of communication um, and good news coming in. This is Cupid's Arrows. I feel like there's going to be some type of proposal or marriage. This is like a romantic relationship. This is two people getting on the same page and communicating. Also, uh, you know, this can be a car to travel. So somebody's coming in to connect with you. You know, whether it's somebody new or somebody old, it could be two people. Obviously, you know, you have to make a decision. I don't really, I don't really feel like you're making a decision if it's two people, but I feel like you're going to try to think about how to be fair here with justice and do the right thing. So it feels to me like your person believes that the foundation is still good, still strong. They don't want to let go. They want to still hold on and try to heal this energy. Three of swords reverse rever goes back to the two of swords in the upright, which is compromise and making a decision and you have that here what this person has that here so i mean your reading is like very straightforward let's take a look at the love messages with your person i feel like the healing really will begin it's a struggle to heal for this person <coughs> they may have to go they may be gonna try to withdraw for a little while to figure out how to get that healing energy in or maybe it's you but i feel like towards the end of august there will be um an energy of like this person kind of saying to themselves you know okay i want to heal this relationship I want to I want to get into like release the past and I want to heal heal it and release it and and try to be more open to this love. And maybe it's even both of you as well. Okay, patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And decision, it's time to decide about this relationship. That's what's going on. Something fell apart. Something broke down. But the foundation that's still there is the love. It's solid. But something didn't work. Maybe you both lived in different homes. But something, whatever, whatever was keeping 
the house of love <laughs> together either termites got to the wood or it broke down or there was like this lightning strike or something happened and the structure could not withstand the trauma and the house fell but I see the debris being cleaned up I see your person figuring out how to clear the debris and start over and clearing that debris is forgiving and learning and healing it healing themselves and healing this connection to make it more healthy to experience more love okay I feel you even though we are apart so you guys might be apart from one another whether it's physically or mentally emotionally I left you before you could leave me I'm not sure who did that you or them children are are important to this partnership so there may be children involved or there may be a desire to try again to have children there might have been trouble with that in the past and that caused the breakdown of a relationship or there's children that had an effect on the partnership marriage this relationship is moving toward a sacred union okay whether that's marriage for you um in a legal sense and spiritual sense you know whichever but it's a sacred union and i feel like it's going to start healing and going in that direction mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson well somebody here has there was some type of lesson that somebody has you know had to go through and learn in regard to this connection you know it just feels like a growth process it kind of feels like a rebirth um it's like the second birth <laughs> like something birthed before the second time around i feel like it's going to be a lot easier <laughs> oh my goodness twin flame this is a divine counterpart connection this is what the struggle is because this person is your twin flame this this perfectly explains where the difficulty lies because one of you i feel was more ascended than the other a lot further along than the other and i said that in the very beginning one of you was leading even though um one was struggling the other was worse off one was following but was not in a position to lead and i feel like you were leading this connection to have progress but perhaps your person i feel like in the present just i don't know they're just kind of like not sure what to do they're confused they're lost but something changes okay so we have look at this beautiful i feel like it's a daisy now somebody's name might be daisy or you have a puppy or a cat i don't know it's there's a yellow and, and green and i'm also feeling sunflower so summertime something here with summertime or your your grow i've never seen green flowers green flower petals with yellow in the center and i just heard volkswagen i don't know why <laughs> or daphne somebody's name might be daphne they gave me the name daphne okay so we have a couple of things here we have a seahorse very beautiful you know the seahorse is the one who gives the gives birth isn't it isn't the seahorse the one it's male is right so i feel like if you're female listening to this it's the male that's going to give birth to a, a new start here and if you're male this may be you or whoever identifies with the um the male uh divine masculine i feel like the divine masculine is going to be the one to give birth to this situation uh, and we also have again the a christmas candle somebody's leaving the light on for someone okay it's not giving up yet and the christmas candle i'm hearing um somebody's name I don't, I, they're just giving me noel which is christmasy but 
I don't know, maybe somebody's name is no Noel or Noel <laughs> or Nicole. And we also have, okay. All right. This is a bull. So I was just picking up as soon as I saw this. Okay, somebody might live maybe in Texas, but there's this, I'm also, I was picking up Taurus, Aries, somebody could be on the cusp of Aries Taurus. So that's like the end of April birthday. Um, and, the, and there may be somebody here that has like a goatee and it's fairly long, hangs down from the chin. Is that what a goatee is? Hangs down from the chin. I'm just gonna get one more. Nope, they're saying this is it. Oh gosh, now we have a Christmas tree. There's gonna be a wedding or a marriage or something around the holidays. Uh, I feel like in December, somebody's getting married. <laughs> That's what I feel. Um, or is going to a wedding. Every time I do the videos, my stomach's growling because I'm hungry. Um, there's something to do here with the holiday time. So around December, the end of December, there might be a coming together or there's a marriage or somebody proposes or maybe you're currently married and going through something and there might be a renewal of your relationship or your marriage around the holiday, the holiday time. I don't know if somebody's going to a wedding. I feel like somebody's going to a wedding in December and there may be like an invite coming okay let me get a couple of advice messages for you virgo and then i will be done with the read please do hit like share subscribe on the channel before we get into this takes two seconds i would greatly appreciate that we're almost at the 10,000 k mark so or the 10k so that's awesome okay let's see oh queen of fire brilliant talented independent and self-controlled there's nothing you can't do virgo believe in yourself never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true the need for balance between career and personal life and the queen of wands is a feisty confident self-assured person so never i, I just they're just saying never Feel bad for being who you are and never let anyone dim your light just so they can shine. And you also have, okay, the Page of Swords. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge is coming with brilliant insights. There's information that you need, but it might be challenging to receive and also review all of your documents very carefully. Now that page of swords energy, somebody is very curious about you at this time. Very curious. They see you transforming. Look at all those butterflies. You're transforming something and you're like a showstopper. I just heard you're a showstopper. I don't even know what that means page of sword energy somebody might be watching you or they want to communicate some truth or tell you something okay and the high priestess so meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire right now virgo this is not the time for action you just have to stay still and I feel like I keep telling you that develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive right now Virgo, you are, you might be eating an apple, but you are kind of like remaining quiet because you're trying to hear the messages of what your, your soul's true desire is. And that's fine. That's okay. You can do that. You don't have to do anything yet. I'm just feeling like a wait and see energy here with that. Um, some of you might be studying or you're reading the Bible. <laughs> you know, we've got, we've got the yin and yang here. This is really, it feels like trying to hear the message of what, you, and it's interesting because the moon is here. Seeking clarity is what I feel like you're, 
you're currently doing what you ought to be doing at this time. Not acting or reacting, just going quiet and seeking clarity. Because I feel like you're going to get something coming in from this person <clears throat> where I feel like they're, they're going to be ready. They're ready. They want to make something happen here for real. For real, for real. All right. So I'm going to leave your message there, you guys. I am... I don't, I'm going to put up a poll because I had a couple of people that said the reading was too long. And as I said before, if it's too long, just change the playback speed where you can speed it up. Some people like the length of the readings. I'm going to put up a poll just to see. But I think what I might do is throughout the week, go back to the original where I had the mosaic spread. And then on the weekends, do these because they're a little bit more in depth. Okay, so we'll see how it goes. I'll put up the poll in my community tab. So make sure you click on that and cast your vote. And we'll see where we're at with things. Okay. All right, Virgo. Love you very much. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.